Welcome to Electron Line. Here we have another example for which the Gaussian surface and Gauss's law is just perfect. What we have here is we have a spherical conductor with a radius of 0.5 meters and we have charge distributed on the surface of this conductor and the electric field right at the surface has a magnitude of 280 newtons per coulomb. It's directed radially outward, so in vector format we write it like this, where we have r unit vector, which is the radial unit vector pointing away from the surface of that charge conductor. What we're trying to do here is find how much charge is on that conductor. And for that, we're going to use Gauss's law that tells us that the electric field strength times the surface area of the Gaussian surface is equal to Q inside divided by epsilon sub naught, and of course we're looking for Q inside. But how do we set up the problem? Well, what we can do here is we can set up a Gaussian surface just outside the conducting sphere, or the, the conductor that's a sphere, just outside so that the radius of the Gaussian surface, for all intents and purposes, is exactly the same as this. So we could say that R of the Gaussian surface is also equal to 0.5 meters. Just slightly more than that, but not much. Okay, if we do that, then what we're going to do here is solve this for Q inside. So we can say that Q inside is equal, for, is equal to E times A times epsilon sub naught, and so the electric field strength is given to us at 280 newtons per coulomb. But what is the area? Well, the area is the surface area of the Gaussian surface, and that happens to be 4 pi times the radian squared times epsilon sub naught. Now, 4 pi epsilon sub naught, that's equal to 1 over k, since k is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub naught. So we can actually write this as 280 newtons per coulomb times r squared divided by k. Actually, I got a little ahead of myself by already substituting the strength of electric field, but hey, there you have, I could have written as e times r squared over k. And so now I can plug in the values. So this is equal to 280 times r, which is 0 0.5, I have to square that, divided by 9 times 10 to the 9th, because that's the value for the constant k. So now we take 280 divided by 9e to the 9th times 0.5 squared equals, and so it gives us 7.78 times 10 to the minus 9. So this is equal to 7.78 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs, so it's basically about 7.8 nanocoulombs, and that's the charge inside the Gaussian surface, which is also the charge distributed on the surface of that conducting sphere. And that's how you see that the Gauss's law is actually very practical in all kinds of applications, including this one. That's how it's done.